So free mints are the new current meta. What this is, is it's a project that's essentially minting for free. And how do they actually operate? Well, they operate and kind of generate some income off the royalties and the secondary sales. The idea is that if they can do 100 ETH worth of sales um, on the secondary market and they've got a 10% royalty, they've then made themselves 10 ETH worth of money for the project itself. Now, why are projects doing these free mints? Well, basically people want stuff for free. You mint something for free, um, you pay 0.005 in gas, um, you then sell it for 0.02, you've made a profit. People are able to kind of sell out this project. It's also a really good way for marketing and attention because people always want something for free. So people are going to then follow these projects and jump into it. Now, let me take you back to December and January. Free mints were essentially projects that would kind of do a stealth drop and do a free mint. But nowadays, what these free mints are actually doing is they run like proper projects. So a project just like a Logix, they set this up like a full proper project. It's crazy because they've done whitelisting and the whitelist essentially gave you this free mint. Now this is great because it's building up the marketing and the hype of that project. People are jumping in. People can then make a flip for a 0.02. People can buy in at 0.02, flip at 0.04. People can be making profits all the way up before they even get to what would be a standard 0.08 mint, which is crazy. Now here are some projects that I think you should be looking out for that are free mints that are coming up. Now obviously this is not financial advice you've got to do your own research but it's almost a no-brainer when it comes down to these free mints so here are some projects that I've looked at now look I've got a bunch that I'm just gonna smash through I'm not gonna do any deep dives these are just ones that I've kind of come across just to show that the meta is alive and hot uh, full disclosure, I am whitelisted on some of these, so please keep that in mind when we're kind of looking at it, that I may be considered as pumping my own bag. So first up, we've got Terrapin Genesis, free mint, 333, super exclusive, super hard to get into. Um, a big shout out to my boy Alan, this is his project, so I'm super pumped on this. Free mint kicking off. Then we've got Dobbies, um, and this one gaining a whole bunch of heat. We're getting to almost, uh, sort of almost 80,000 followers, so it's at 70, sort of almost 77 right now. Um, the art's sick. They've only got five tweets. People love free mints. Now, if you want to get um, collabs, you can hit up Isaac, but um, I'm pretty sure they're kind of full. Then we've got Yogi's. Now, this is a kind of free mint as well. We're looking at this, 121,000 followers. The free mint meta is alive and well, and people want something for free. So with that 120,000 followers, it's crazy. You can get an idea of what some of the art looks like here. Um, and this is kind of where the um, free mint meta is currently heading. Now, I've actually done a giveaway for Sushi Cats, so uh, full disclosure, I am whitelisted on this project. They've got 20, so 26,000, and they'll hit sort of 30, 35 before their mint. It's a collection of 5,555 free mint. The whole idea with this, a bunch of cats that do, that, that make sushi, essentially, sushi cats. So uh, that's kind of kicking off. Uh, the next one that we have, we've got Bone Ducks. Now with this one, it isn't completely a free mint basically the white basically the whitelisted people are getting a free mint but there is a paid portion of this project so it isn't a completely free mint but the whitelist portion of it is a free mint which i think is cool um, we have kind of seen this before, but these are kind of usually those stealth drops that kind of do this um, half free and then kind of paid afterwards. Um, now we're getting to some ones that just kind of pop up in my Discord and people just going, hey, check this. And we've got Anxious Friends, 5,000 free mint. Now this one's still kind of early. Um, we've got uh, so sort of just over 8,000 followers. Um, and it's like a kind of cute koala type vibe, um, similar like pastel type color. Um, you can kind of get the, the vibe. They are doing a lot of giveaways. So yes, with around 8,000 followers and a supply of 5,000, this could actually be one that you could get a free mint for. Uh, another one that we've got coming up, now this is a limited supply of almost 1,000, but they've almost got 5,000 here. Uh, this one looks kind of cool. The art is um, interesting. It's got a different kind of style and twist to it. It's not just like that cute PFP meta. Um, it, and I, I am starting to see this kind of artwork kind of kick off a little bit as well, which is kind of interesting and kind of cool. And then the last one, which I literally just found while doing this video is called Plastic Soldiers. Um, they're doing a free mint. Doesn't actually say how many they're doing. And the idea is that it's kind of like the toy, so 3D model toy versions of those soldiers that we all kind of played with as kids. 
Now to show you how easy it is to find these free mints if you're kind of looking for this, if people aren't tagging you in, just type in free mint and then go to latest. So you can see here just on latest, this literally just popped up. We've kind of got a whole bunch of different projects that are doing this free mint. And this is how you know the meta is alive. So you go nosing around free mint. So yes, you just go to free mint. And then like, if you check on this a couple times a day, you're then going to see some projects that are doing a free mint. Um, and then, oh yeah, like you can see here, Plastic Soldiers 36 minutes ago, I was legitimately just running through and just kind of wanting to show how alive this meta is and what people are actually doing. Now, full disclosure, what will kind of happen is a lot of these free mints will fail, will die. But the idea is that with a free mint, you will be paying gas and then the rest of it is kind of just up to luck. So you might lose out on gas, but you're not going to lose out on too much more. This isn't for someone that's really, really new to the space. They're going to have to have a bit of capital to kind of play with, play around with when it comes to this gas. But look for these projects that are set up like real projects, projects that actually have an established discord an established whitelist um, an established kind of um sort of team and user base so if it's set up like a real project but they're doing a freeman that's a good um kind of thing if it is a stealth drop in a freeman i'm not saying it's necessarily bad but it's something that you need to be cautious of because it may not have that momentum to run up like another project anyway let's get back to that walk and wrap up this video so why am I a big fan of free mints and the free mint meta that's currently happening? First off, it's a really good way for projects to actually kind of prove themselves because if they don't prove themselves, they're not going to make um, sort of these secondary sales and they're not going to actually generate any income. So they actually need to work for it. Now, the other aspect is the fact that it changes the dynamic because people can't pay per hand a free mint because it was essentially free. It means that everyone that kind of takes that risk and actually jumps in early is going to end up making a bit of money. Now, this means that it, I feel like it it perpetuates, it changes the dynamic. It's not about kind of paper handing and kind of diamond handing. It's the fact that people are going to be minting a project and you actively want the project to be doing these sales in the secondary market for the project to succeed. So it also changes that dynamic. The other thing about these free mints and the free mint meta is it means that if you are able to get onto these projects early, it's a guaranteed win. And guaranteed wins just are good for the morale in the NFT space and pump it up really well. So if you found value in this video about the um, sort of free mints and free mints that are coming up, um, please consider hitting up that subscribe button. So go down there, hit up that subscribe button. And then while you're down there, also hit up the like button. As always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.